there, Tastic Nation. Today we're going to be creating a winter art piece so that you may have something festive for the lovely snowy season. Unless, of course, you don't have any snow where you're at. So then, in that case, you can just imagine what a snowy day might seem like. All right, today we're going to be drawing a fox, and we're going to start off our fox by um, drawing the head, and we're going to start that about one finger space, or sorry, finger length away from the top of the page. And we're going to begin that fox's head with some zigzag lines. And you can use a permanent marker. Um, that would be uh, probably ideal. Mine's a very favorite uh, tool for making is the Sharpie Fine Point. But of course, you can use what you have um, or a washable felt marker. Although that will might bleed into the image when you paint over it. So we're going to draw two ears with some curving triangles. Um, and some lines in the center there for the uh, folds of the ears and to make it extra cute you can add some little ear hair just like that. Okay, lovely. Next we're going to draw the fox's face and we're going to start off with kind of like a top of a heart shape. Draw two little eyes just like that. And then just a little bit below that we're going to draw an upside down triangle for the nose and two little cheeks and there's his little chin we're going to add some hatching lines for the snout just like that and then we're going to tuck in that face shape just as so now we need to make his face so we're going to add zigzag lines that come out to a point on either side for the cheeks and then we're going to draw a scarf on either side of the neck you're going to draw some curving lines or some the letter C. Connect at the bottom. We're going to create the band there for that scarf where it ties up. And then we're going to draw the ends of the scarf where it was made into a knot. If you want, you can add some designs on your scarf to make it interesting. You can do lines or just leave it a solid color. Next, we're going to draw the body. I'm going to draw the sides of the body with some zigzag lines. Two parallel lines in the center of the body there for the legs. And then we're going to draw toes with overlapping letter C's. Just like that. Lovely. Draw the bottom of the body. Draw some features for the chest hair. Next, we're going to draw the um, hind legs and the letter C as well, but with zigzag lines because he's a hairy, hairy fox. And of course, more toes. Next, we're going to draw the tail. And the tail is quite bushy, so we want to have some very, 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 very extraordinarily zigzaggy lines for the tail and then the top of course separated because this will be white and this will be orange. Now we're going to draw just some wavy lines to create some snow texture. I'm not going to go to the edge of the page. I'm just going to draw where it might be. Finally, we're going to draw just some white cir sorry, <laughs> some circles. They will be white in a matter of moments, but we're going to draw some circles along the top and around the fox for the snowflakes that are falling. They don't need to be perfect. This is art, of course. Let it be expressive. Next, pardon me, I'm going to use a white oil pastel, or if you don't have pastel, use white crayon. If you have pastel, you sometimes you notice that it's dirty and just rub it onto your hands there, just like that, and that's going to tidy it up a little bit. And then you're going to color all of your snowflakes with white as well you're going to want to color that tip of the tail there white because that won't remain white and the face that lovely shape there needs to be white and that chest that's it so back to the dots And we're going to 
Maybe we will clean up the side of this guy here. Ugh. Awesome. We can just color it like that then. Try not to get it on his feet because I would like them to be orange, but there we go. If this happens because of previous colors, just try scraping it off with your fingernails. Generally, that does the trick. Oh, I made it worse now. Sorry, I use these pastels quite often. There we go. Lovely. Next, we're going to get our water and our paint, and we're going to begin painting our box. And we're going to begin with orange paint. This is watercolor paint. I prefer it because it's easy cleanup and all you have to do, you don't even have to wash the palette after, you just simply let it dry and it's ready to go next time and then you just have to uh, add water to make it paint again. So simple. I'm going to paint my fox orange so that way this lovely fox stands out in the snow. As you can see I totally got my pastel there so I'm just going to color that part orange. <laughs> see? It's all good. There's no sense in worrying. This, things happen. But as you can see, the pastel is really capable of resisting the paint. And that's kind of what I would love to happen in this background when I start painting it as well. So anywhere where you might have gotten that white pastel on the toes, just get your orange pastel or orange crayon and just tidy that up there like that. No one but you will know. I'm going to be very careful as I paint around the face. I don't worry too much if I get it in the background to be honest because I'm going to paint it and it'll blend itself out or add to the interest. Lovely. Just gonna add a little bit of dot there. Make that nose. And I'm gonna select, hmm. Maybe I'll do a purple scarf. Awesome. Now finally we just need to paint our background with blue. I'm going to start painting it but if I want it to be more watery and loose I'm just going to add water only on top of that paint and let it move around. I'm not going to worry about getting right to the edges of this painting. Just where the snow is. I'm actually going to think I'm going to bring it down here because We'll see if any of that paper was exposed. It might make it interesting. And add some shadows. Give it a cool texture. It might dry on that pastel just like that. Why not? Feel free to experiment. This is art. There are no right or wrong ways of doing things. It's all about what you enjoy. And of course, if you saw something here that wasn't um, the way you would like to do it, of course, you should change it. It's your art piece, not mine. This one's mine, you do you. You can see where that orange is kind of blending into the background. Let it go. It's all good. That's the beauty of the medium. All right, so once your art piece is done, you can let it dry. Just like that. Thanks Artastic Nation for watching this video and for more art tutorials please subscribe to my YouTube channel and make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. That will help me and I will greatly appreciate it and I thank you in advance. Uh, for more art tutorials visit my blog at MsArtastic.com or you can just google it and you'll find all my different websites. Uh, for um, t art teachers, if you need some more art resources for your classrooms or art projects, please visit my Teachers Pay Teachers store. Um, search Misertastic on Google or Misertastic on Teachers Pay Teachers in that search tab and you will find the link to my Teachers Pay Teachers store. Also, it is, it is included, uh, I included a link in the below the video there in the comment section, so just scroll down and then view the description of this video and you're going to find the link to my Teachers Pay Teachers store.
where you can find almost 500 uh, art resources to use in your art classroom or for general teachers you can use these art projects as well of course. Um, I also have a new uh, teacher apparel store or teacher t-shirt store so for any cool teacher t-shirts that you want to wear in your classroom please head on over to the link section below this video and you're going to find a link to my apparel store and uh, you're going to be able to um, find cool shirts to wear to your classroom. Be comfy, be artsy, be te teachery, all those sorts of things. All right, as well, follow me on Instagram. You'll find me at Ms. Artastic. Well, Artastic Nation, that is it, and you have an Artastic day.